Don't forget, you still have time to adopt a dolphin, the great dolphin dunk fundraiser for the Boys and Girls Clubs of Ada County. You can buy your toy dolphin for $5. And this Sunday, right at noon, those dolphins will be released into the endless river at Roaring Springs, and they will race or maybe float <laughs> to the finish line. Well, we have a link to buy a dolphin in this story at ktvb.com. You can win some great prizes. Yeah. It's a win-win situation because it's a wonderful cause yeah. as well. So and that's, it helps boys and girls clubs right here in our community. That's right. Just and you know, great. Jim was a part of that. Jim, you helped launch this just a few weeks ago, and now it's coming up this weekend. That's right. I got to be there for the kickoff of the sales of the dolphins. And uh, for a relatively small amount of money, you're helping not only the Boys and Girls Clubs to thrive, but uh, also that chance to win some really great prizes. Meanwhile, kind of dolphin weather today. Lots of moisture around the area, but not much falling here in the Treasure Valley. Lots of clouds overnight and a few sprinkles this morning. And 70 right now with west winds at 6 miles per hour. You can smell the rain out there. And the humidity level is up 76%, which is even high for a morning here in Boise. All that moisture coming up out of the southwest, mainly over into Oregon yesterday, shifting eastward as we told you it would, and it's spreading throughout Idaho now. And moderate showers have been drifting up through stream eastern Oregon and just west of the Idaho border throughout the night and early morning hours. And now moving across the Idaho state line and showers have brought some sprinkles to the Treasure Valley. But what we find is that while most of the shower activity in Oregon is heading now drifting into the west central mountain areas, what's coming up toward the Treasure Valley gets blocked a lot by the Owyhee mountain range in the south southerly flow. And so we get a few sprinkles passing overhead. That's about all that we'll be seeing for most of the day. Over the Magic Valley, though, it will gradually increase coming around the mountains, up out of Nevada and into the Magic Valley and central mountain areas where moderate to heavy showers are possible at times as thunderstorms increase. We have low pressure tracking eastward across the area. That trough will enhance the shower activity through the afternoon. And then as it moves farther east by tonight and tomorrow, drier air begins working into the Treasure Valley. And we get back to some sunshine and hot conditions for the next couple of days. While some lingering showers and thunderstorms will persist over the mountain areas and the Magic Valley for the next couple of days. Back here in the Magic Valley today, though, those showers and thunderstorms likely off and on increasing through the afternoon. Moderate to heavy rainfall possible at times. And temperatures in the mid to upper 80s this afternoon. Low 80s up in the Central Mountains, also with a chance of thunder showers. And a few showers and a thunderstorm or two possible in McCall, Donnelly, and Cascade in the low 80s today. Treasure Valley, mostly cloudy with a few sprinkles and isolated afternoon and evening thunder showers. Low 90s today, 91 degrees in Boise. But then by tomorrow, we see morning lows in the low 70s for the next couple of days as daytime highs get back into the mid to upper 90s with more sunshine tomorrow and Friday and stay in the mid 90s through early next week.